Hello all, in this video we are going to take a look at how to increase redundancy and reliability of your networking structure by using some of the new features of FortiLink 6.4, FortiLink 6.4.2. The first one is support for FTT HA cluster of 4 units. So far we have seen that FortiGate HA pair and it's used for redundant connectivity between uh, for FortiGate itself as well as connecting it to the tier 1 of Forti switches and then in FortiLink environment. However, there are many deployments where the FortiGate HA cluster of 4 units is deployed. So far, it was really not possible to use FortiLink in that case. In this new release now, FortiLink supports HA cluster of 4 units. So, you can have a HA cluster where each of the FortiGate is connected to each of the switch in tier 1. FortiLink layer. Now let's take a look at one of the setup here. Now this is a HA cluster of four units of 3200D, and this is a tier one Forti switch layer. As you see, the connectivity each of the Forti gate is connected to the tier one Forti switch member of MC lag, and the other switch is connected only to three Forti gates because it just the cable is down. Pictorially, you will see that. This is easier to see the 40 gates are connected to the blue switch on the tier 1 switch and the second blue switch is connected to only 3 40 gate just because cable is down but essentially giving a support for HA cluster of up to 4 units. Second case we are going to look at is 40 link ISL over wireless point to point links. Now this is a use case where you really want to extend your 40 link setup to remote locations and remote location that may not have the physical connectivity. So in that case, wireless bridges are used to extend network connectivity and with support of FortiLink ISL over wireless point-to-point -point bridge, we can extend that to remote side. Let's take a look at one of the setup here. Now, this is a managed switch topology view. In this case, it looks normal, but the link that is marked red is an ISL, but it is not a regular ISL. There is no physical cable between those two switches. That one is actually ISL over wireless P2P bridge. And this is how you can actually expand your photo link to remote sites which may not have physical cable connectivity. So you can have it over wireless bridge. The small configuration is needed on the ports on each side which is connected to wireless bridge and you can have this ISL working. Third case we're going to take a look at is HA site redundancy with central FortiLink. The use case that actually came from NFR here is FGTHA pair deployed across two distributed sites. FortiGate is managing single FortiLink instance deployed across two sites. And this is how site-to-site -site redundancy is achieved with a single management console. Now let's look at some of the details. This is like a managed switch snapshot from one of the earlier examples. But you'll notice here if you haven't already that there are four 40 switches shown in tier 1, which is kind of unusual. Let's take a look. This is the physical connectivity between 40 gate HA pair and the tier 1 of 40 switches. And also, one thing to note here is the 40 gate HA connection between these two 40 gates for HA hardwits, for example, is over 40 link in this case. And the link that is marked by blue is connecting those two slides. There is the only physical connection between these two sides. Now let's take a look at how it works. When the top 40 gate is active, the MC lag pair which is connected to top 40 gate is tier 1 and this is how the tiering works. When the bottom 40 gate becomes active, the tier 1 MC lag pair it actually changes. There is dynamic change between tier 1 and tier 2 and it retains the switching connectivity and overall network connectivity seamlessly even though it is changing the tiers. So this is how the site-to-site -site redundancy with single FortiLink instance is achieved. That's it for now. Please leave your questions and comments on FNDN. Thank you.